Sigmund's father, thank you for this beautiful day and for the opportunity to see and for being to achieve this milestone in your life. Lord, thank you for the faculty, administration, and staff of Wayland and for the calling that they feel to help fulfill Wayland's mission of Christian-based education. Thank you for the support and representation of each of the members of the armed forces that are here today. Lord, please help these graduates with your wisdom, grace, mercy, and guidance and may your plan and purpose for their lives become evident as they continue in their journey. In Christ's most holy name, amen. Arthur J. Rooney, Jr., Commander, 82nd Training Wing, Shepherd Air Force Base. <laughs> Dr. Paul Arms, President, Wayland Baptist University, Plainview, Texas. <laughs> Dr. Bill Hardage, Executive Vice President, Wayland Baptist University, Plainview, Texas. Dr. Elaine Siebel, our new Dean of the Shepherd Wichita Falls Campus. <laughs> Dr. Georgia Flanagan, my mentor, Professor of Education, Wayland Baptist University, Shepherd Wichita Falls Campus. <laughs> and Dr. Lloyd Kennedy, Professor of Business Administration, Wayland Baptist University, <coughs> Shepherd, Wichita Falls Campus. <laughs> Ms. Julie Bowen, Director of External Programs and Associate Registrar, Wayland Baptist University, Thank you. Campus. <laughs> Dr. Jocelyn Thompson, Assistant Professor of Business Education, Business and Education. Wayland Baptist University, Shepherd, Wichita Falls Campus. And Dr. Jeffrey Tillman, Director of Graduate Studies and Professor of Religion, Wayland Baptist University, Shepherd, Wichita Falls Campus. Achievements like this seldom come easy and seldom come without the efforts of other people in our lives. And I'm sure that the graduates will quickly acknowledge that these achievements would not have been possible without the support of the others in their lives. And I'd like at this time to have the family members please stand. Family members, members, stand up please. Supervisors? We got any supervisors in this room? No supervisors. They're all at work. <laughs> and commanders. Commanders of these fine young men and women. <laughs> Graduates. Uh, will you please stand for a minute and do an have out face for me? That worked out nicely, but it wasn't what I intended. <laughs> Graduates, show your appreciation to these fine folks, all right? You can come down and see me. Thank you. <laughs> Many thanks to all of you. You did make a difference in their lives. Remember that. <laughs> Special thank you to Dr. Arms and Dr. Sebo and the entire Wayland Baptist University staff and faculty for the top quality program that they've provided to this community for the past 30 years. 30 years they've been here doing this. They need special thanks just for that. And finally, graduates, on behalf of the entire Shepherd Education Services Center, we're 
We're proud of you, your dedication, your determination, your perseverance, and just plain old hard work that you displayed to reach this milestone. Best wishes to you and congratulations. And now, Brigadier General Arthur J. Rooney, Jr., 82nd Training Wing Commander. Well, Mr. Mudd, it's clear to me that we need to start deconflicting our comments uh, because you just gave all of mine. <laughs> so what shall I talk about? Well, first, let me talk about this theater that you are in today, our auditorium. I'd like to thank the Mission Support Group for the fine work that they have done in transforming what used to be an old rundown theater into a fine auditorium that we can hold graduations like that. All of you sitting down in those nice new chairs, what do you think? Okay, nice chairs? <laughs> graduates right here, you know I didn't do well in speech class either. But let me start, honest to goodness, here with Mr. Mudd and your staff. You know, you continue to raise the bar with each and every graduating class. Here we have the largest number of William Baptist graduates graduating today, some 98 I think uh, I was told. Uh, and you look great out there as I was making my way down the aisle there looking out on all the proud relatives with signs and balloons over here to the right. This really is a sight to behold here. It's a little wonder you graduates are as successful as you are because you have such a great support network from the commanders, supervisors, co-workers, husbands, wives, family members out there, relatives as you make your way around. What a great event this is. So Mr. Mudd, well done. Mr. Mudd tells me that the Community College of the Air Force is about to graduate their 250,000th uh, graduate, and guess which base they have elected to make that momentous occasion uh, happen. They'll be right here at uh, Shepherd. Yes, 250,000. Uh, but it just goes to show what, what the Air Force thinks about your, our education office here. Now, to Wayland Baptist, to the leadership here on either side of me, thank you for all of your leadership inspiring, motivating, and providing this necessary resources for these graduates to graduate. And graduates, as I look at you, I am indeed proud of each and every one of you. I know there's a lot of hard work that went into this graduation uh, today, but I charge you, don't let it stop today. Over 500 of your former graduates from Wayland Baptist have gone on to receive their Commission. Many have gone on to become chief master sergeants. Many have gone on to be senior leaders within uh, all sorts of organizations uh, out there. So it doesn't end here. You know that. You're committed to lifelong learning. And where better for something like this to occur than Shepherd Air Force Base, where combat capability begins, whether you're in the 80th line training room or the 82nd training room. And as I said, since Mr. Mudd used all of my other comments, and I was going to have you stand and let me do an about face a little bit sharper than what you did. But uh, <laughs> you did a pretty good job, so we'll not do any more practice at this moment. But again, graduates, today is your day, and I, I congratulate you and thank your spouses and loved ones for all their support. Thank you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. When I think about being here today, to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Siegel, for the opportunity to represent today's graduates. I want to say a couple thank yous also to my wife, Sonna. I love you. To my daughters, Sarah and Elizabeth, uh, for your sacrifice. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for your support. Thank you, Wendy, Patty, Marge, Lori, Kim, Jody, Judy, Darlene, and Charity. 
for your encouragement. If you do not recognize the names, those are the ones not on stage. That's the staff of your Wichita Falls campus. <laughs> Pastor Pop, thank you for your prayers. Miss Gabo, thank you for your signature. <laughs> Dr. Flanagan, thank you for your offer. And thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. When I started this program, I was scared. I was downright afraid. My feelings of being scared peaked on May 21st, 2003. That was the day that I sat down and read the syllabus for EUC 5302. Dr. Tillman's Educational Research. I was so afraid that night that I almost started crying on the way home. Let me show you why I was so afraid. I would like to read my grades from my actual 7th grade report card. They read C, 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 C. A, C, B, B, A. Now it would be less than fair if I did not tell you that the two A's were in music and physical education. <laughs> the two B's are in art and band. I was afraid because I did not know if I had what it takes to complete this program. I realized from the beginning that I needed a source of courage and a source of motivation. My source of, motiv my source of courage came from the Holy Bible, the Word of God. One small example is, first, or is Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. My source of motivation was from a secular book. Escape from the box, the potential of hu or the the wonder of human potential, written by retired Air Force Colonel Edward Hubbard. Colonel Hubbard was a prisoner of war in Vietnam for 2,420 days, a little over six and a half years. Please allow me to read a paragraph from his book. He writes, "I believe human potential is nothing more than a state of mind." Your state of mind or potential is controlled by two things. What you think you can do and how hard you are willing to accomplish it. That's it. Absolutely nothing else plays in that equation. It has absolutely nothing to do with training or education. These are only aids to get what you want. It has nothing to do with IQ because I believe that we do not even know what IQ measures. It depends entirely on you and how hard you are willing to work. Guests of today's graduates, the thing about human potential is that everyone has it. Everyone in attendance today could walk across the graduation stage. Some of you have. Some of you will. And some of you may be afraid because you do not have what it takes. If I can stand up here with my 7th grade report card, anyone can. When I think about being here today, to God be the glory. My fellow graduates, my favorite TV show is NBC's The West Wing. I enjoy one particular quote that President Bartlett says all the time. He uses this phrase when he realizes that a discussion or an event has reached its purpose. He accepts that there is nothing more to benefit by dwelling on the current subject. Bartlett recognizes that it is time to move on, so he simply asks, what's next? My fellow graduates, we are at the end of this educational endeavor. We have set our goal, and we have worked hard. We are here, and we should celebrate. But when the celebration is over, we must realize that this journey has reached its purpose. We must accept that there is nothing to benefit by dwelling on past success. 
we must realize that it is time to move on, to pursue new challenges, to seek out new adventures. My fellow graduates, when the excitement of today is over, we must simply ask ourselves, what's next? God bless you and God bless America. Discuss and Prince's hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. The best all life is a poor actor briefly performing on a crumbling stage, then passing on forever. But the biblical perspective of life, the perspective Helen Baptist University seeks to communicate and to teach, is very different. For example, the Apostle Paul talks about life as being a race. It's a fight. It's a journey. From cover to cover, the scripture teaches that life is a wonderful gift with a limited possibility and potential. The Bible helps us to understand clearly what brings meaning and joy to human existence. This afternoon, I'd like to share briefly with you just a few challenges based on what I see as scriptural principles. The first challenge is this. Never give up your dreams, whatever they are. However impossible or far-fetched they may appear to be, never give up your dreams. Wilma Rudolph was the 20th of 22 children. She was born prematurely and her survival was doubtful. When she was four years old, she contracted double pneumonia and scarlet fever, which left her with a paralyzed left leg. She had a dream, however degree of Master of Education, Douglas Harmon. You know how to blow the big in the Probably won't blow right anyway. Okay. I will eat for them. No, let's go down. That looks better. That looks better. Okay, this minute. We got it. Wait, 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 wait. On the way to Walmart. Turn on the bike my... Why are you in front of me anyway? I don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were taking pictures. Oh, you good. I have to go in and get my books. How do you stop this? Oh, how do you stop this? How do you stop this, eh? What? I'm still recording, but I don't know how to stop it. Where did you start it? Press the red button. You guys are right. You're recording? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I have six minutes. Six minutes? Six minutes left. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. Say something to your son. Say something to your son? Yeah. A lot of work. And? I got it. Right? Yeah. High school plus a little bit.
There's a reception.